Here are your first set of basic moves. For step number one, a lock off. That means that you're going to be able to hold your body weight while keeping your elbows bent at a 90 degree or almost 90 degree angle. It's okay if your hands slide down the pole as long as you can keep your elbows bent at the 90 degree angle. This is going to help to train your biceps and back muscles and chest and triceps and hand grip and everything else to make sure that you can keep your elbows bent during certain moves versus just hanging and not having any control over your move. So you're going to come right up to the pole. You're going to put your chest right against the pole. Your hands are going to be stacked one on top of the other and you want the bottom hand to be just above your forehead. You're going to lean into the pole. You're going to squeeze your elbows in and pull your hands down. Now, if I was flat footed, when I pull my elbows down, it pulls me up on my toes. Pulls me up on my toes. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with that bent elbow. You're gonna squeeze your elbows in and down. You're gonna bring one leg up, find your balance, and then you're gonna pick up the other leg. And try to hold that bent elbow. Remember, on any of our basic spins, we want to be standing with the inside arm straight, elbow slightly flexible. You want to lift through the chest, and that means that you're pulling down through your shoulder blades to engage your back. Inside arm high, elbow slightly flexible. Pull with the top hand, lifting your chest and engaging your back or your shoulder blades to do the lift. Here's your first basic spin, it's called a fireman. You're going to start with your inside hand or the hand closest to the pole high. You want to make sure there's a little flexibility in your elbow. You don't want to lock out. The second hand, once we start spinning, is going to grab across your chest level with your armpit. It is inside step or the foot closest to the pole. Outside heel hook or the foot furthest away. Grab across at armpit level. You're going to spin towards the bent knee, pull up from the top hand, and cross the second foot behind the pole. So if my left hand was high, I'm going to cross my right foot in front, pull up in that lock-off position, and cross the left foot behind the pole, squeezing the pole with my knees. Spin two, firefly. It is an outside step. Inside knee grabs the pole. Push your outside hip heavy so your inside knee sits heavy like you're sitting in a chair. You're going to push off with the outside leg. You're going to grab across at armpit level and mirror image the leg that's on the pole. stationary, you're going to grab the pole with your inside knee. You're pulling up with your heel towards your bum. You're squeezing or pushing with your calf and your thigh so that they're pinching the pole. 
My bum is on the back side of the pose. My knee is on the front side of the pose. I'm going to pull with the top hand, squeeze with my leg, and pick up my second leg to mirror image. Third spin, mysterious girl and or pinwheel. It is an inside step or the foot closest to the pole. Outside heel hook or for foot furthest from the pole. You're gonna take your second hand, your free hand, your outside hand, and you're gonna place it by your chest or down by your belly button or level with your belly button. You're not pushing from your wrist. You're actually going to use your elbow, which means you're going to use your bicep and tricep to engage the top part of your arm to keep you from banging into the pole. Inside step. Top arm lifts high. Outside heel hook. Grab a cross. Dip towards the bent knee. Kick the second foot out like you're peeing like a dog. Inside step, outside heel hook, and comes across chest or seat belt level. Pull with the top hand, push with the bottom bicep tricep, and kick out the second leg behind you. The last spin in your first set of basic moves is called rock your bottom or side spin. You're gonna bring your inside knee up and pinch the pole. So you're right in your knee pit. You're not sitting on your calf. You're pinching the pole with your knee. You're gonna keep your second leg under its own hip. Up on your toe, keep the knee locked, or keep the knee straight but not locked. Okay? You're gonna slide your top hand down and then grab below with the bottom hand. Make sure both thumbs are pointing towards the ceiling. I have now leaned away to a straight elbow. I'm not bent elbow. I'm leaning away. I'm gonna dip towards my bottom shoulder. Then, as I do, the pole is gonna tap right above my kneecap. When it taps right above my kneecap, there's no more pressure on my toe and I can pick it up. So I'm gonna dip forward. My knee is gonna tap. I'm gonna pick up my toe. and complete the spin.